Take my fucking car. You don't fucking take my fucking car. I'll take everything else in my room, take everything else in my life, and you just don't fucking stop. Just don't stop. Why why do you even have this like still written on here? Because this was I think the first and only fucking time that my dad had an admission to guilt. He actually took fucking responsibility for his actions. I remember when he wrote this. And I just like it as a reminder to see. Yeah, he wants, he wants to listen to an adult about it. He wants to get on my ass about being a man. It's like, look at fucking you. That's what he is. I'm gonna take my fucking car while I have to sit in this goddamn room. Non-stop. What happened yesterday? Oh, Uncle Larry, he's uh, they checked him out of the hospital today. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's he's back at home. I uh, wanted to go see him. Yeah, that'd probably be nice. Yeah. Do you like need me to drive? Uh, maybe I don't know. I th I thought there's um. I have a couple bikes in the Morton building that we could take those and go for a ride. I just, I just want to go for a ride. I don't want to ride a bike. Hmm. Okay. I, my spleen will handle it. I just want to keep going. Oh uh, yeah, let's go. Let's go. Hey, you remember yesterday when I uh, walked out of the waiting room and I decided to make those calls? Oh, yeah, yeah. I fucking, I literally just called anyone I could possibly think of that that would care, that would care about me in this situation, and, and uh, naturally Uncle Larry too. And I told him about everything. I, I called Uncle Chris. I called Anita and Nancy at the farm. I called my mom. I called Jeffrey. And you know what the thing is? It's like they literally all said the same shit to me. They said they were concerned naturally, but they were like, hey, if you need somewhere to stay, come here. My even my fucking mom said that <laughs> I mean, after everything. And then and then and then Jeffrey said it too. And and he's I thought he said I couldn't go there for like another week. Yeah, man. Well that's great. It sounds like you have a lot of options. And like yeah. even if you don't like any of those options, I mean you can always come to my house. Yeah, I, I mean it's I don't have anything. I have fucking nothing to my name anymore, so, I mean, those, those are great, that's great, but I don't have anything. Oh, 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 get this. The landlord at Mark's apartment complex, he, mm -hmm. he finally returned my call. What you say? And he, he actually watched my YouTube channel. Oh, shit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you know what he said? He said... Uh, sorry, Jesse. I I don't feel comfortable letting you have an apartment here. Are you serious? I don't. Uh, yeah. And I, I and he seemed so fucking shady about it and flighty. And I was just like, why? I was like, what did you see? Like, what's the big deal here? And he's just like, I just don't feel comfortable having here. And you know what? Fuck you, dude. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Fuck you, because I, I and I know I know what he was probably thinking. He's like, it's my dad. It's my fucking dad. He's gonna fucking ruin everything! And it's like, well, I don't, that shouldn't affect me. That shouldn't, that, whatever my fucking family is like, whatever my dad is like, or whatever my fucking second cousin is like, that should not be an indicator of who I am! Fuck! So that's out of the question now. I don't, I don't fucking care. That saves me money, I guess. And I wouldn't even have anything to move into the fucking apartment. I'd literally be in the same empty damn space that I'm in right now. <sighs> All right, I need to ride. This is gonna be good. I need this. I really fucking need this. Are you sure you don't want me to just like ride? 
I think it'd be, you sure you don't want me to just like drive us there? Dude, I mean, how the fuck do you even know that my dad didn't put a tracker on your car too? And then we're going to Uncle Larry's? Come on. I'm just saying. Um, I, I guess that's true. What are you fucking doing? Do you see this shit? Did he just put that there? Like, what the fuck? Like, how mu how overboard can you go right now? He needs to calm his ass down. <laughs> oh, did I tell you last night, after you left, he had his all fucking Italian friends over, not and really. he actually took my gate clicker. So it's not wow. even it's not even like I, I could have, you know, gotten us out of here yeah, anyway if you yeah. wanted to drive, and, it, and it's like, I, I don't even have a fucking car. Yeah, I mean, I guess it's lucky that showed up when he was getting his lawnmower. Oh, yeah, no, yeah. seriously. <laughs> I don't know how the fuck you're going to get out. Yeah. I guess I'll have to. I'm gonna have ask, to ask him. Yeah. yeah, that'll be fun. Sometimes, man, I think it's like, what would have happened had I still been at the farm? Would, would I be fine? Would I still have my stuff? Would, would me and my dad be okay if I just still fucking was working there? I also just think like, what would it be like to have a normal fucking life? These are the things I ask myself. Sometimes ask Demma. <sighs> Must be nice. Enjoy it if you got it, Juggies. Things could always be a lot fucking worse. That's the damn sure. What do you want? Hey, uh, seriously, your dad. Yeah, he's in the bedroom. Hey. What are you guys doing here? Uh, I just wanted to, I heard you were let home today. I wanted to see how you were. How does it look like I am? Here, let me get a chair. So, what'd they say? What'd the doctor say? <clears throat> he said that I have a sprained neck. I have severe muscle spasms. What's that? What does that mean exactly? Like, are you, are you okay? Like, are you feeling all right? No, I'm in a lot of pain. I asked him yesterday, like, how come I don't remember, like, part of it, what happened? And he told me that, um, there's some kind of nerve in your neck, it's called the vagal or something like that. Right. And, uh, it made me pass out from the trauma from the, from my neck. So you have to wear that thing for a while, or? Yeah, and he wears for, like, four to six weeks. But I mean, hey, that's that's cool that they let you go home today. I was surprised they, they kept you overnight. Yeah. It's good to be home, but this isn't me, man. I can't I can't stand being like this. Yeah, I don't I don't wanna say it, but like my you shouldn't have really been driving that truck. Like, you know, the brakes don't work. I don't I mean you're going like 40, like 40 in my driveway. I, I mean, what are you really thinking? You know? Like you had to you know. Gotta, you gotta have the camera on right now? Can you turn the camera off? It's the same as always, Uncle Larry. I, I do the videos, that's really all I got right I understand now. I just, that. Some things you don't always have to tape, alright? I just, I'm asking you if you could turn the camera off just so I can just talk to you. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you, you turn it off. Yesterday when I went to your house, 
get Carol. Yeah. I specifically came there just to freaking do some type of damage. I wanted to get your dad's pool. What? You tried to destroy the pool? Well, you did that on purpose? I wanted to get you out of there, Jesse. Oh, well, how, how is that going to work? Well, Look. Why, I didn't, why destroy the pool? I don't understand. Well, you put yourself at risk. I wasn't thinking about that. I was trying to think about how to get you out, all right? So I came over to your house. Was it because of the trailer? That you was, left that's me. Not getting, that's, not trying, that's not trying to get me out. That was get, you getting revenge on, on for the no, trailer. You left me a message the night before. That he, everything was the same. Nothing has changed. So I came over there to get back and try to get you out. But when you told me that your dad was out by the pool, I wanted to kill him. I think he deserves to die. And I failed. I just, all, all I remember is I hit the fence. I saw him for a second and he disappeared. You, sh you should not have told me that. Are yeah. you serious? You tried to kill my dad? I hate what I've become. I hate everything about what's going on right now, Jesse. You gotta get out of that place. You gotta, you gotta get out of there. I can't help you anymore. I'm so done with what all you this you stuff. You can't help me anymore. How can you say that? I, I need you now. He just took my car last night. I don't even have a car. I had to ride my fucking bike here. That's my point. My point is, is that every time you try to go forward, you go right back to where you were. Nothing's changed ever. That's that's not true. I, I've made attempts. You know I've tried. I've always tried. I, so that's why I'm still here because I keep trying. I keep going. I've tried to move out of the house so, so many times. You're out now? Are you out now? No. No. Then you're right I, back where you started from. You. Nothing's changed. Nothing's changed at all with you. I have no... I don't... It's time for you to become a man. You've got to make a move yourself. Nobody can save you. Jesse. I've tried to move, but that doesn't even work. I, I end up going back just because it feels like I don't, I don't know. I don't have a choice. It's still my house, and it's still my dad, and it just feels like that's what I have to do. Like, it's not a choice at all. You have a choice. Everybody has a choice. You're the one that doesn't take your step forward. You doesn't just... take my step forward. I've, I've moved. I was even moved out. Before. Where did, where did you go? Fucking Aunt Jackie's. I, I had Eagle's Landing. I had your trailer. How can no, you say you, I know? You need to get away, like, really far away. Like, where nobody can find you away. Like, you just need to just take a step forward and get the fuck out of here. I want to, but it just... One and two it, and doing it are two different things. I know, I know. It's just scary. It's scary. Nobody can do it for you. you got to do it. I tried to help you. I can't. You see what it got me? No worries. I want my old life back. I want to just freaking just... I used to sit out back. I used to just sit out back and not care about anything and stare at the woods. I just want to stare at the woods. Uh, Jesse? What? We need to talk. Mid conversation we did. It's important. Okay, but we're still talking, dude. I'm right. taking my medicine anyway, Jess. I'm good to sleep. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Alright. I, I guess we'll just head out then. We probably should with our bikes. Are you going to be alright? You need me to get anything before I go? Get you like Corona or something? I can't drink beer. I love you, Jess. Hey, hey, hey. I'm, I love you too. It's just I'm. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry that this is. This is how it is right now. But look, it's like. 
I know whatever you decided to do or whatever was going through your head that you know you only you only did it out of a place of love. And I I really appreciate that. I do. I, I appreciate everything. And just don't think like you 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 you'll probably be out of this brace and and, and out on the lounge doing videos before you know it. Like the the couple weeks. I just want to stare at the woods. I know, and, and and maybe you'll you'll be able to go back to that. I don't know. I mean, what do I know? Just uh, I don't know when I'll be back here. But just like shoot me a text or something if you need me. I don't. I don't tell my dad get pissed. But hang in there, alright? You want to talk about? Not here. Out there. <laughs> okay. I mean, whatever you want to talk to me about, dude, you just do it right there in front of your dad. It's not a huge deal. Do you know why he's like that? Yeah, I do. Do you really? Yeah. Do you realize that you're the cause of it? No, man. Look, don't, don't, like don't, you. don't touch me, okay? Okay. Just let me talk. He has done nothing but give to you. All you do is just take. And yet you have this freakish audacity to call yourself the victim here? Oh, back the fuck off, man. No, you no, no. I am the victim. You want to have it? Just shut up! I'm not gonna be silenced anymore. All he does is give. All you do is take. And that just leaves me with stress over him being stressed about you. He worries about you a lot. Do you realize that? I know your situation. It's not great. He worries about it. And when he gets broken up over, I have to be the one to pick up the pieces. I have to be the one who hoists the back up when he gets down. How is you that fair? You try having Shut a dad. Up! Like Can you stop sniveling? Try for 10 it goddamn it. seconds! He's my father. I'm his son. Not you. So you know what would be best? If you just leave. Sure. I'll leave. You know, Jess. What? I used to look up to you. Now, I don't even want to look at you. Now, do us all a favor and don't come back. What the fuck? Wait, where are you going? Jesse? Are you coming back?